Hey guys and welcome to this new video. It's been a while since I last recorded a voiceover and I'm really sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird today. I'm not feeling that great and honestly a bit sick, but I still wanted to record this for you. Because today's video isn't just a typical speed paint. Today I want to show and talk to you about character design. So first but foremost, please keep in mind that I'm not a professional at all. This is only the way I work or more likely how I taught it myself. So now that being said, let's dive into it. This video is split up into two separate parts. The first one contains this process of creating the character sheet of my original character Hikami. You should have been noticed by now that I don't work traditionally like I usually do. I'm not a professional at all if it comes to digital art, but I noticed that, at least for me, it's way better if you want to design a character. Because you can change up specific parts of the design really easily and you have way more opportunities to find the fitting color scheme for your character. What you see right now should be the basic for every character that you design by yourself. The character sheet. What you put on it is really up to you. The most important purpose that you always should keep in mind though is that it should make clear on how your character looks like and what he or she is supposed to be. I personally prefer it, as you can see, to put one full body drawing onto my character sheet as well as one or two portrait drawings from different perspectives. This way it's way easier for you to draw your character afterwards and make sure that he or she doesn't look completely different from drawing to drawing. I also like to add some extra details to my character sheets like simplified chibi versions or a close-up drawing of the eyes. A character sheet doesn't have to be perfect at all. Mostly it's only a helpful guide for yourself to figure out about your character. So, and now we're getting into the second part of this video, which is the drawing you already saw in the thumbnail of this video. This second drawing is also done exactly like the one of my character sheet that you saw before, but this time I didn't film the screen directly, so I recorded the screen I'm drawing on from the top on my usual drawing place. If you're curious, I'm drawing on an iPad Pro with the program Procreate. Even for someone like me, who never experienced digital art before, it's really handy. So I had to darken up the room because otherwise the screen would have reflected the light around me and you couldn't see anything that well. So I hope you don't mind that and please let me know in the comments which way of recording of my digital paintings you prefer. So, but now to the second piece. In the beginning you saw that I first did the sketch for this piece on a real paper. I took a photo of that and imported it into my program. This way I could easily trace the sketch and refine it. If you have any further questions about the drawing itself, feel free to leave a comment. But yeah, for now let's talk some more about the actual topic of this video, character design. And I think the most important thing here is that before you even start, you should make up your mind on which point you want to start creating a character. Mainly, there are two options that you have if you want to create a character. One, you start with creating the design or the overall look of a character as you want him or her to look like and build up his or her personality and background story on this base. Or two, you make up your mind about the personality and background story first and start designing the character depending on the facts you already know about him or her. If it comes to me, I can't really say that I only would go with option 1 or 2. Sometimes I spontaneously got an idea for a cool design, whereas other times I really want to create a character with this or that certain personality or trait. If it comes to Hikami, the character you see me drawing in this video, it was more of the second option. One day I thought that I really want to create a character that is half an angel and half a demon. That was the base thought out of which this character was born. 
For a long time, I really had no idea on how he's supposed to look like, but therefore I knew exactly on how his personality should be like. So Hikami, which name is a mix out of the Japanese words Hikari, which means light, and Yami, which means darkness, he's both and at the same time none of it. He forms a contract with people who had experienced great injustice in their life. He's a master of illusions and shows the people on how the future would change if they act like he says. He has a seductive personality and depending on how a person sees him, his appearance changes either into the one of an angel or a demon. So normally he looks like the way I drew him on my character sheet, so as a mix of both of these versions. In the second piece, however, you see his full angel and his full demon form. And only I figured out all of this, I started creating his actual character design. So, as I already said, it's really up to you which way around you want to start. Having a clear concept for a character is really helpful. One way or another, you can decide whether appearance and personality of a character should overlap, like in my example here, or if there should be a contrast between these two elements. But keep in mind that doing this that often with a lot of characters makes them seem unrealistic and ill-conceived. So yeah, but at the end, it's really all up to you. I'm not a professional character designer and I only can tell from my personal experience, but I still hope that I could help you at least a little bit with this video if you want to start creating your own characters. If you want to see more of this stuff or want to hear more about character design, just let me know and maybe I'll do things like this more often. Maybe recording a character design from the very beginning. Oh, and yeah, one more thing I really have to mention in this video. I just recently hit the 200 followers here on YouTube. Yay! Thank you so much for your great support. I'm only a little hobby artist, but I'm really, really grateful for everything. And if you see this by any chance, some greetings to my dear colleagues who just discovered my channel recently. And yeah, but a big thank you to all of you. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, stay there until the end of it. Give it a little thumbs up if you did enjoy it and then yeah that's all from my side enjoy the rest of the video and then see you soon